So you're not getting any results for women. And then when you ask your friends or women about it, like, what should I do? What am I doing wrong? They say, ah, just be yourself. Just be yourself. Like, bro, yourself is not good enough. If you were being <laughs> at this stage, if you were and you can only be yourself and you're still not getting results, you need to switch it up. It's not about yourself. You need to become better, bro. Like anyone, like the advice that girls and your friends will give is just not to hurt your feelings because they probably think that you can't handle the truth. The truth is you suck with women, you suck with communication, you probably look fat, you probably like are not desirable in status wise, like you have no good chat, you can't communicate properly, you're not funny, like you, you may not be ugly, but like you may not present yourself in the best way, like you probably smell, you probably haven't showered, <laughs> like all these dumb little things, right? And you're talking about be yourself. Bruv, yourself is not working. Like if it's not if it's not working up to it now, you need to be better, bro. You need to change it. Now, how do you change it? I don't want to just berate you this entire video, even though that is pretty funny. But like, let me just give you my story, right? I was rubbish with women. Yeah, I used to like, oh God, I used to have to drink to get girls basically. And the girls that I was getting after I would go out on a night out after drinking wasn't the girls I wanted to get with anyway, right? And like never never saw them again. And it was just like, that's not what I wanted out of my life. I needed someone to tell me that, Jade, you have no game. And it hurt, of course, but it was true. I had no game. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just like that guy who would cock block unintentionally. I didn't want to cock block. I wasn't trying to do that because I was jealous or anything like that. I was just shit. I just didn't know communication skills. I didn't know all these different things, right? And it, I needed someone to tell me that because if I didn't have that, I would probably be doing the same shit, just like not learning and throwing shit against the wall and seeing what sticks, right? And that is a wrong method to go against because you're one, it will take you like 10 years longer than someone if you were to like, th than the other person who just decides to pick up a book on the matter, who decides to watch YouTube videos on the matter, who decides to take online courses on the matter. And all of a sudden you've done these two, one, one two or three things and you're like in the top 10% of the best people in, who could potentially um, meet someone out on the street and then get their number and then get them to your girlfriend and wife and mother your kids, etc. But that comes from being better. It doesn't come by being yourself. If you were being yourself when you're like 15 and like you were that sporty kid and like you just you just had no chat, you would just be awkward all the time. You just like your jokes were shit. You hadn't like didn't really have a wit. You didn't have like a good personality. You super needy about things. You're overcommitted. <laughs> like you just want love, bro. You just want love. And how do I know this? Because I was that guy. <clears throat> I was like really, really like not, not clingy, but I was just like, you know when you're just like sat there and you're thinking about someone constantly you think about all the situations it could happen uh, like speaking to her and then the next day when you actually see her you don't even say anything because you're too much of a pussy or you're too shook how do i know this because i've been there like there's things you can do to become better one learn anything about confidence i've written a book called how to become fearless you can go and get that on amazon and read that that will teach you how to become confident fearless and that will help you on your journey Another book, Mark Manson, Models. If you get that book, it will learn, it'll teach you all about like the perspective to have when going out there and speaking to women and like actually attracting women in, in real life. Another book you can read is the, the Way of the Superior Man by David Dada. This book is incredible because it, it, it's in the title, The Way of the Superior Man. All women want a superior man. No one wants that low level like scum. They want that man who is all man, who is respected by other men, who all women want. And this is the type of energy that you will pick up from this book, um, The Way of the Superior Man by David Data. I'd say one more, which is The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. You get that book that helps you control your mind. So when you're in these little situations, especially in the beginning, they are high stress situations because you're just like, you're putting yourself out there in a potential situation to get rejected publicly, potentially, if you're meeting people on the street or out and about. And this will just help you calm your mind and calm your emotions and control your mind. And these four books, they're fantastic for like holistically to get you into a position where you're able to kind of like just 
be better. Now, let's just say you're at zero right now, you wanna to get to level 10, these four books will get you up to level five, six. So you'll start to feel good about yourself, you'll start to have a little bit more swag to you. The next thing you need to do is actually take some action and apply these things, because there's no point reading all this shit and like not applying it, otherwise you haven't learned. If you don't like absorb content and actually apply it the next day, you haven't learned anything. You just wasted your time reading that shit, right? So the next thing you need to do, go out there, apply it, learn, iterate. So you wanna read, think about a, sing a single concept or a few concepts, go out the next day, try that shit out, wherever you are, think about, like you may wanna even video journal or write down a journal, like this is what I did, this is what worked, why didn't it work, uh, what I could do better next time then next time use those notes, those iterations, those videos, journals, whatever, and try the next thing next time. You do this constantly enough, you will be better with women. Girls will want you. <laughs> you don't have to just be yourself, which is the person who is watching this right now and sucks with women. That is bad advice. That, that is advice that like a girl would give you because they don't wanna hurt your feelings. Like I said in the beginning, all your friends would be like, no, 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 you're cool, bro. But like you, your friends may be saying it true because like you are with your friends and they know you as like that cool, funny guy, et cetera, et cetera. But as soon as like um, you go speak to a girl, it's, it's a completely different story. They, they are saying be yourself. Your friends are, your, your, your male friends are saying, yeah, just be yourself because you're a good guy. And it will work if you were able to be yourself but what happens when you're in front of a pretty girl, you get stifled, you get in your head, you're stuck, all these thoughts are running, you don't even know what to fucking say next because you're like so shook in the moment. You're not used to rejection, you're not used to like speaking to people in general. So you need to go out there and you need to do what I just said, read those four books and and it gets some experience to, to and, has, and, has, and, has some, and have some um, self analysis about this whole situation you're in to get better and then you will become better and then you will get better, like actually like results wise you'll get more girls and, and like get girlfriends and stuff um that's literally the path bro you if if a girl tells you tells you that yeah she she you may be like her her girly best friend and stuff but most likely if you're watching this and like you're a young guy in, in like teens late teens or early teens or whatever um and you're, you're watching this and you're like um a girl telling me, yeah, just be myself, it's probably because one, she don't want to hurt your feelings, and two, it's just like she doesn't know what's actually required to uh, create attraction with the opposite sex. And so, like, if you were your awkward, no nervous, normal self, like, laughing at other people, like, laughing all the time, like, not in control of your mouth, like, just saying dumb shit, doing dumb shit, a lot of the time, just getting with girls is just stopping yourself from doing dumb shit, <laughs> like, if it, like, you know, that need to, like, feel, to feel the need to impress, it's just stopping that shit, and you'll be surprised by just stopping that shit, and just looking more intentionally, like, eye contact, and smiling through your eyes, and just, like, being more friendly in general, just nice and friendly in general, that is just, like, way more, like attractive than all the different techniques I can tell you that it's just like when you act that way it's hard to explain like when you act when you just act more friendly don't even care about like the results like the getting with girls side of things that's more attractive but when you do it when you start to do it from a um position of I'm gonna be friendly so I can get girls, then it starts to not work. You have to like go through the process and do it enough so that like, actually genuinely, you just like being in the company of girls now and then it will start to feel like, okay, I'm just gonna be friendly and then all of a sudden these girls are throwing themselves at you. But that will take like a year or two perhaps when by, by doing the process that I said and getting to that position where you feel truly like, oh, actually I just genuinely like wanna meet this girl to be potentially friends and then because she's not used to it, she'll probably like hit on you for it and stuff like that. This is like another topic. The topic of this video is just that <laughs> if you're, if you're, um, if no girls are like, if no girls like you, you need to stop being yourself. You need to be better. So recap, go get these four books. So it's my book, How to Become Fearless by Jay Mystery on Amazon. Go get The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Also, all these books are on Amazon. Get Mark Manson Models. Okay, fantastic book. And The Way of the Superior Man by David Data.
find all these books on Amazon, read them, let them change your life, take action, go out there, apply it, journal and iterate on your next time that you go out. And it could be all in the same day, take massive action and there's no way you will not be better in even a few weeks from now. And then you'll start seeing the results. You'll get more eye contact. You'll get more smiles from girls. You, they'll see you in a different light. Even strange girls like you see out and about, let alone the people that you already know. They'll start to feel the difference in you, but the, the strange girls is like where it's at. Because <laughs> it's like, they can just see you walking down the street like, who the fuck is this like confident guy? And um, yeah, that, that's pretty cool when that starts to happen. So boys, I hope this reaches you today. I hope this helps. And I'll see you in the next video.